Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 12 previews and analysis. This video is for the game between the Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. This AFC South matchup will take place down in Houston, and obviously both these teams are um, having pretty miserable seasons. Uh, it was sort of expected from the Jaguars' standpoint, coming in with only one win to this game, but it was not expected from the Texans' standpoint, who some said had Super Bowl aspirations this year. They've lost eight straight games now after starting off 2-0. Case Keenum will get the start in this game. Uh, Matt Schaub had come in relief for him in the second half last week, but Keenum gets the start in this game, which I think is the right call. Let's see what you have in Keenum with a season that seems like it's pretty much lost, in particular in this game for Houston. Um, you know, I'm not in love with how they've been playing here, obviously, in their losing streak. They've shown little signs of turning it around, but right when you think they're about to turn it around, they take another two steps back. But in this game in particular, you know, Jacksonville's defense is very susceptible um, in the passing game, and particularly the long passing game. And that's something where I think Case Keenum, with the combination of Andre Johnson and DeAndre Hopkins, can really exploit this Jacksonville secondary. You saw Carson Palmer do that last week. Most notably, you saw that Cardinals offensive line hold up. Uh, in front of Carlson Palmer. So being that's the case, I look for Houston to have a big day in that department. I think they can run the ball, but I think their focus will be on passing the ball down the field. So outside of Houston being too distracted here and really not playing hard, um, they should have no problem with the Jaguars. But make no mistake about it, the Jaguars, look, they played hard last week. They lost by 14. Um, you know, again, the pass defense was a big problem for them. The fact that they cannot run the ball whatsoever um, is obviously a huge problem for them as well. The Raiders were able to run the ball on Houston last week. Rashad Jennings rushed for 150 yards. But, look, the, the, the Houston pass defense is pretty good. I know they allowed three touchdowns to Matt McGloin last week. But, you know, if I'm looking at this game, the strength of the Texans is throwing the ball, throwing the deep ball with Keenum to me and also stopping the pass. And those are two things um, that the Jaguars do uh, very bad, quite frankly. So I, I more look at this as I don't see how – Jacksonville scores a lot of points against that Texans defense. That's where I'm having trouble coming like coming from where I don't see how Jacksonville scores more um, than let's say 13 to 16 points in this game. And with how bad their pass defense has been, I think this is an excellent matchup for Keenum because I think he'll have time to throw because of the lack of a pass rush. And again, the one thing you can never judge in these games is motivation. I know Schaub and Andre Johnson had words after the game, but again, Schaub isn't even going to quarterback this game, at least to start. Um, so uh, I, I, Kubiak, maybe he's on the sideline this week, maybe he's not. But in this particular game, I think Houston snaps that eight-game losing streak because I think their defense is going to absolutely suffocate Jacksonville at home here. And Jacksonville, look, they're obviously a, a, a very big work in progress. Um, they've been getting better. Here, um, they played a little bit better on the road actually than they have at home. Their one win was on the road against Tennessee a couple weeks ago. But look, I look at this Houston defense as being a different animal here. So I like Houston minus ten at home, okay, versus the Jaguars. Houston over a touchdown favorite last week against the Raiders, and a ten point favorite this week. Just a you know a wacky sort of season for Houston from all angles. But I think they win this one and cover the minus 10. Guys, let me know what you think of this game. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game every week, guys. And I'm always talking the NFL on here. So be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.